<laughs> Very short bullet point. <laughs> I am non binary queer from Iran. Don't have a really a set date uh, for that. Um, kind of new from, you know, from as far as I remember. Uh, first, I came out at the age of 15 to my uh, older sister. Um, and then at the age of 17, 18, I came out by force uh, to my parents. Unfortunately for Iran, um, it's not dangerous. It's, you got a death penalty for being queer. Um, I mean, gay, uh, lesbian, bisexual, transgender won't have the death penalty, but the rest, they will definitely have that. Because sex change in Iran is kind of an uh, easier process, they would rather you do a sex change and just have a monogamous relationship with a, with a male or female, like the opposite sex. In Iran, you don't have really like a culture of clubbing. You know, you're really not allowed to have like a clubbing. Uh, there are many house parties, and uh, there is few good house parties for queer people, if you're lucky enough to get there, mainly they are in big cities, but in a small city I doubt it. Not unfortunately, there is no any sort of right of um, protest or talking about it. Um, and it's not only a basic government, it's a religion and it's a culture of the people, they are not really ready for that. Um, there are people who are working on it, but I think it's a still a long way to go, unfortunately. I'm a very lucky person in that uh, respect. I came, when I came out at 15 to my sister, she accepted me and my family been supporting me since 17, but I had to come out and went through a quite a rough time. Uh, they always been behind my back. No, not really. But I, uh, when I was a teenager, I kind of never thought I have to hide it, so I, I uh, kind of shared that information with anyone, say what's my sexuality, is, what am I interested, uh, until you met that one wrong person to make your life difficult at the age of 18. Um, then I had to leave Iran after that. Um, so beginning of 19, I was in England. Um, Beginning, when I am my early teenager, um, I wanted to be a guy, so I thought I'm transgender uh, because guys have more, more power. I thought that would be a way to live with my the girl I wanted to. Um, so I think that was the culture thing. Once I moved here, you know, and I see the different life, I was like, okay, you know, maybe that's not that really. So I think that was like more my culture, uh, have the reflection of my interest in my sexuality and gender. I would say London is home. I'm not really I'm not sure any part of any part of the UK I would be that comfortable as, as I am in London. But London is home. The moment you say you're Iranian they're like, oh you're Muslim. Uh, without any kind of doubt you're not or it might be a different religion or even no religion um, and then all the question is that how come you know you're non-binary or how come you're sleeping with women um, but uh, you know you, you, you get them every now and then being from Iran so they just have to answer them calmly many times <laughs> <laughs>